College Game Day. Built by the Home Depot. You can do it. We can help. And in part by Prevacid. Ask your doctor if prescription Prevacid is right for you. We'll get to today's showdowns in just a second, but already there has been a very special moment in college football this weekend. Actually, it was Thursday night in San Jose State's Neil Perry, almost three years after an injury that forced an amputation of his lower leg, 25 operations later, returned to the field. Bottom line, I didn't come back for any media attention. I could care less if nobody was in the freaking stadium. I came back to be with you guys to give what I can to help this team win a WAC championship. The crowd chanting his name. He runs on on the punt team against Nevada, makes a block, and makes an amazing return to college football. Well done, Neil Perry. Injury is very important around the country. We told you about the Georgia LSU game. Fred Gibson, the playmaker, Tony Milton, the running back, Ben Watts on tight end are all out. Injuries all over the place. And for the latest to go back inside Tiger Stadium to Ivan Mizell. Ivan, what do you got? Once again, Chris, Ohio State quarterback Craig, uh, Craig Krenzel will dress, but he will not play. Wisconsin tailback Anthony, uh, Anthony Davis will dress. They don't want to use him, but they, they left it as questionable. And then Miami's electrifying freshman kick returner, Devin Hester, did not make the trip to Boston. Joining Sean Taylor on kick returns will be Sonoris Moss, that's Santana's little brother. All right, thanks, Ivan. Still plenty of speed on that Hurricanes team. Okay. Lightning round recap. Last four at Boston College. Miami narrow escapes. What happens here? Miami's passing. Edge Boston College in a good Edge Boston, Boston College? Go I mean, yeah. Come on now. No, you're, you're picking Miami, I'm right? Picking Miami. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I think Boston College's <laughs> toughness and home field advantage keeps it close. It's going to be another typical Miami-BC game. Miami finds a way to, with too many athletes at the end. All right, take a deep breath. I know you're excited. You get a this time in this game in a second. Michigan and Oregon. Last eight times a Big Ten team played oh. a ranked Pac-10 team in a row. They lost. I'll come up. Michigan outscores the Ducks in a close one. I think this Oregon team is excited, but I think their pass defense is questionable. I think John Navarre big plays gets Michigan a win. ASU, Iowa, who wins that one? Iowa wins it with special teams. Arizona State has been lying in the weeds. They go into Iowa City and upset the Hawkeyes. Tennessee, Florida. Gators win it with field goals. I think this is a, a close game, but I think Tennessee's toughness and running game will be the difference. I like Tennessee to go into Gainesville and beat, uh, beat the Gators. All right. Now, Georgia and LSU, which team will step up and answer the challenge of the first real SEC showdown for either team? This is what you come to these schools for. This is why you want to be a Division I football player. And, I mean, just to see the fanfare and people moving around much faster and a lot of excitement and things like game day coming. When we walk out there in pregame, I'm sure our guys are going to look at them and say, wow, because they're big muscular just they just look good in the uniform you know it's a great opportunity to show that we uh want to be one of the dominant teams in the sec so we you know we're gonna be coming out to hate hunting people and you gotta knock some of the people out of the top to get there all right, as LSU got the goods, can Georgia win another big game with injured players? Well, LSU home field advantage, big, big time in this game. But Georgia's quarterback, David Green, leads the dogs into Death Valley, and the dogs walk out of Victor. I like Georgia Ooh. to beat LSU. Ooh, how could you pick Georgia? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Something tells me Mr. Corso's going the other way. He usually goes against LSU here in Baton Rouge. Look at the Georgia fans. <laughs> The Georgia fans cheering the prediction. We'll see what happens. North Carolina and Wisconsin from Camp Randall are coming up next. Thanks, boys. We'll see you later on from Penn Rouge. <laughs>